Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. Yay! Because uh, the Dominion DLC has finally released today, and I'm going to be recording this. I would live stream it, but uh, I don't have time for a live stream today. I got work today, so I'm probably going to rush through this, but uh, let's just start. Let's just uh, go right into it. has a habit of repeating itself. Just look at it. It's beautiful. We are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream, one that InGen could never achieve. Once we get dinosaurs here, it will be perfect. A perfect display of evolution. Luck favors the bold. We were prepared. Now we need to finish the job. Give me the latest on the animals. We're isolated, which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature and me. Okay, well, I'll have to cut that out, I guess. Location, location, location. More than you realize, this is perfect. Keeps us away from the public's prying eyes and keeps the political do gooders at arm's length. I think what InGen had and fumbled away. They never saw the bigger picture. All dinosaur and zero business. That is where Biosyn wins. We bring a balance that InGen never understood. We see the whole picture. Okay, what's our next step? I don't want to waste any time getting this going. Okay. Well, it yes, all yes, yes, I know. Center. Remember, it needs to be connected to the Hyperloop network. All right then, get started. Everything's in place for us to get our new research compound constructed. Great. Then we can focus on getting it operational. Okay. Well, the intro to this whole thing messed Hi. up, so... Update? Everything is going to plan. We should have the research we need shortly. Great. Carry on.
Okay, that did it. We have access to the core facilities research. Great. Our vision is coming together of each building we get operational. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. I think we can do that. It's all starting to come together, just as we envisioned. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Well, I will give them some credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Uh, sure, through a rushed agenda and lazy science. We're doing it right. Their failures were our education. We won't be making the same mistakes Hammond and his team made. InGen always fell in love with their own wonder. They wanted to prove to the world that they could do it. Once they did, they wanted to showcase them as circus freaks and rub our faces in it. They didn't get it. Evolution is not just DNA and frogs. It also happens in business to advance the world. Think of what we will bring to the world. Think of what we will bring to humanity. New medicines, biotechnology, beauty products, you name it, we will own it. I want to see a functioning facility. That is the only way we can secure the dinosaur's survival. Absolutely, we'll get it done. See that you do. A lot is riding on it. been authorized to expand our team specifically yeah. scientists look over the candidates and let's add some to our operation okay so what do we need here so we need two for logistics okay two logistics that's for treatment we'll do and two for genetics and one for welfare Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And let's get one more here. There we go. Hey, I have exciting news. We're closing in on some exclusive biosyn tech. Invisible fencing. It'll secure the animals while removing the traditional man-made constructs that have surrounded their environments. So, no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs? That sounds terrifying. Uh, 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 the more these animals believe they are not in cages, the healthier they will be. Yeah, that will make them easier to care for. I think we'd better place some research outposts as well. We can observe our animals safely from there. You know, it's bad enough that dinosaurs never knew what a fence was until we place them around them. But what if they become dependent on them to feel safe? At least they could see a barrier between us and them. How are they even going to trust their environment with invisible fences? How are they even going to know where they are? Oh, believe me, they'll feel it if they try to cross with them. Yeah, that. I don't know. Look, it feels like we're messing with them and how comfortable they'll be in their environment. You're concerned about fences? The dinosaurs never saw a human before either, and that hasn't stopped us. Isaac, we've got an issue. We're in need of more power. How close are we to maximum output? Already there. We won't be able to hold much longer. And we'll I already took care of it. To get more. Upgraded power stations is the way forward. Let's get to it. Before we go any further, there's something I want from you. Through my connections, I've arranged for a number of dinosaurs to be delivered here to our facility. They're coming all the way from Isla Sorna, so you'll have some time to prepare for their arrival. I'm confident you won't let me down. They're going to need enclosures, secure enclosures. Safety is essential for them and us. And we have to get this right. We don't need another InGen or Masrani incident. 
Absolutely. We will do better. Mr. Oliphus, we'll just put in here too. Yeah, I literally don't have time uh, to do this at all, but like, I am just gonna do it anyways. So like, there in the beginning of this video, it might have not have any. Uh, there might have not have been any audio for like the intro part of this. I'm not going to fix that right now because, like, I don't have that much time to record this at all. So I might re-record it. Might. I don't know. make these habitats as desirable for the dinosaurs as we can. Ramsey, okay, I've been going go. through the data, and I think we can make some real progress if we get a research outpost connected to our hyperloop. Yeah, makes sense to me. Awesome. Now let's make it happen. Without proper security, we slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. We'll set up the necessary patrols. Yeah, I don't have to remind you. Remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on it. Have you ever heard the phrase, you are victims of your own success? Because, gentlemen, that's where you find yourselves. Both of you. I'm not sure I follow. It means we're doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. This will allow us to continue expanding our genetic engineering division and take our operations to the next level. Biosyn is counting on you. More importantly, I am counting on you. We need perfect genetic samples for the best outcome. That is something Biosyn will write a check for. Yeah, but we're not yet in control. We're dependent on others until we get in a position to send out our own expeditions. And I don't like being unable to control the outcome of something. Yes, but once this research is done, we'll be able to send out our own expeditions. We should be in a better place around our samples. If we own and control it, it's better for Biosyn. And you. Okay, we are ready to build an expedition center. Don't forget, we'll need a fossil center too. Understood. These buildings will put Biosyn at the cutting edge of bioengineering. Yeah, I want to talk, but like every time I'm going to try and talk, then this My understanding is happens. That you're ready to send out a team? That's correct. Good. I want you to start with an amber mining expedition. This valley wasn't chosen by accident. This area is rich with amber. And I intend for Biosyn to exploit that. Insects trapped in prehistoric tree sap. That is what we need. This is where our dinosaurs begin. This amber is going to be the time capsule that links us back to the era of the dinosaurs. It's a window to the past and worth billions. Ramsey, have our scientists extract what they can from the fossils. That'll increase our genome diversity. Yes, on it. And what is the end goal of this? To do the impossible. 
again. Okay, now can I talk? I hope so. Anyways, um, uh, I filmed the, like I said, I did the intro, but the intro is messed up. There was not audio going through it and stuff, but there is subtitles on it, so I might leave it in. I might not. I probably will. Might I don't know. That's it. I might. We've had a breakthrough. An entirely new genome. So what you're saying is we've discovered a new dinosaur? One we've never seen before? Sort of. It is incredible, but it's not actually a dinosaur per se. It's a prehistoric synapsid called Dimetrodon. Hmm. Did Hammond have one of these? I don't no. believe so. Perfect. A biosyn exclusive. This DNA is only part of the puzzle, though. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new breed. Once we've done that, we can incubate and release him. I can't wait. Okay, but yeah, like I said, I, it, the it might the intro is probably gonna get messed up. I do apologize for that. If I do leave it in, and if there's no sound, I apologize. But I I try my best with these. I might re-record this whole video. I have no idea, or I might just re-record the intro part. I don't know, but, um, we'll see, or I'll take it off of somebody else's video, but, uh, I have no idea yet. But anyways, I, or I might just cut it out entirely and you guys can go look at somebody else's for the intro. I have no idea. Or I'll take it off of somebody's video and put it in mine. I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so ensure that they are comfortable. Do right now. There we go. Thanks in part to your efforts, it's becoming clear that Biosyn will be the home of paleobiology moving forward. Our future is found in the past. Ah, I like that. Sure, we've had some difficulties, that was expected, but you handled it well. I think we can now move forward with the next phase of Biosyn. We have a world-class operation. Let's take it global. Biosyn will represent the past, present, and future. So, what do we focus on next? We focus on upgrading our research compound. That'll give us benefits across the board. I want a crown jewel. Something we can all be proud of. Do the research. We're shooting for 100% complete dinosaur genomes. 
The genetic link between birds and dinosaurs has long been established. Now, with a feathered dinosaur, we can finally have our proof. Magnificent. Biosyn is at the brink of excellence. Everything InGen aspired to be, and more. It is truly something. I, I just... Just what? Well, this is the point InGen thought they had everything in place. Then it all unraveled from there. <laughs> yeah, let me put your fears to rest. I am not Hammond. He was all ego. I am not Mazrani and his tech-first approach. We are set up to succeed, and that is what we're going to do. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to imply it, but... No, no, I understand what you're trying to say. There is truth in it. But we're in a far better position to succeed because others have failed. Hammond and Mazrani both brought tremendous advances to the world. They just had a narrow vision of it. We do not. We see the whole picture. We see the balance of it. Where there are advancements, there needs to be a business that supports it. That makes sense. Look, Biosyn's not just interested in the dinosaurs. They have the potential to provide improvements for all life on this planet. If we don't jump on this opportunity, someone else will. So why not us? Okay, research. We're looking for research on a very specific animal. If I were to say that its name means Olympus Fire Thief. A pyro raptor? Yes, exactly. Before we can proceed any further, we'll need to send a team out for Pyroraptor Amber samples. No problem. It looks like we should be able to achieve a complete, uncompromised genome with the Pyroraptor. That should make Dodson happy. Okay, so... Yeah, like I was saying, if I do leave the intro into this campaign, I will probably... If I do, I'll figure something out. Because I will not have time to go back and record this today. And tomorrow I am, will be doing something else for, for the DLC. So I'll probably be recording maybe two videos. I'll record one today. I'll record one tomorrow and stuff. Maybe another one on Thursday where like the dinosaur skins and the dinosaurs themselves probably. But uh, I don't know yet. I am hoping that I get be able to like do a lot of other stuff. Because, like, I want to do, like, there is a lot of stuff that I want to do. Especially, like, with the visible fences here. Like, I, I can, like, we can finally do, uh, stuff like actual sanctuaries. Like, I already did one, but now we can actually have, the, like, the Biosyn Sanctuary, like, here and stuff, which will be cool. Like, I would love to do, like, make... A sanctuary right here that would be awesome it really really would Okay, so three, no, four, then three, and two. But yeah, I do hope if I do leave it in the intro, like I said, I apologize. I will probably put like a subtitle above it saying, uh, saying that there's no audio, but it, it's the audio is fixed later on in the video and stuff so well we're figuring stuff out while i'm recording this i'm 
plus I don't want to like tap out from the game if I'm going to check something. If I'm going to check something on Discord, I'll do that on my phone, I guess. But yeah, so it will. I don't know when this video will be out even. So if I had to guess, maybe on Sunday or something, because I'll probably be editing it a little bit on Saturday. I'll be editing videos, but I also have a thing going on on Saturday. So I'll try and get this out as soon as possible, but I am busy this week. So and Friday, I got to work again, so which is fine. Okay, so that's done. We have another Pyroraptor right here. Bios and But yeah, I, I do hope that you guys are enjoying this video. This video is probably going to be a long one. But this will probably be like over an hour, probably. Depending if I can edit, edit it down good and stuff. So it's not too long. But I don't know how long this... Uh, I don't know how long this is. So, we'll figure something out, hopefully. But I am trying to get this done as fast as I can. So, that's why I'm in a rush and stuff, so... Like, I've already been recording for 28 minutes already. But I guess we'll just have to see how editing goes. And I do apologize that I wasn't recording a lot of videos. I've been dealing with school stuff, and since I'm not in school anymore, I'm going to be doing a lot more YouTube stuff for you guys. So I'm hoping that that's exciting enough for you guys. But please do subscribe to the channel so you never miss anything. So you know, and, and turn on those notification bells so you don't miss anything. Don't miss a uh, upload from me. Because I am planning on doing a lot more videos now since I'm not in school anymore. So... Just uh, letting you guys know. But yeah, right now we are extracting dinosaur DNA for Pyroraptor. Okay, we have Pyroraptor. I can be three of them. Okay. I think with a little research, we should be able to get a batch of Pyroraptors ready for release. All right, then. Let's get a team on it. It may not be easy, but it is necessary. Can you imagine what would have happened already to this facility without us being here? I'd rather not. Me either. So let's stay on task. Biosyn needs us, and the dinosaurs need us even more. The pyroraptors are going to require an enclosure. Let's try and make it as suitable as we can for them. The last thing we need is for these animals to be irritated. I'm not perfecting this, like I said, or what I should say. I'm not perfecting this and stuff, so I'll do all four. Hopefully, they're not going to get into a fight or anything. Hopefully. Okay, so we're just going to airlift these guys into their... Heading to collect the asset. I'm going to need your help. 
Some of my operatives managed to obtain dinosaurs from Isla Nublar, and now I think it's the right time to bring them here. We can accommodate them, right? Because I really don't want to let this opportunity pass us by. Yeah, probably. Okay, here. So we're just gonna go this way here. This is what I was afraid of. There is a disease spreading through our population. This is what happens when you push too far. We better start researching a cure and do it like yesterday. Do what you have to and do it quickly. We could have a full-scale disaster on our hands if we're not careful. Uh, synthesize, incubate, and release following dinosaurs. Dridnatus, Therizinosaurus, and Giganotosaurus. Okay. Now we are really getting somewhere. This is the biosyn I'd always envisioned. I'm pleased to report that our biodiversity is solid. The facility can support a range of animals. That means all of our... Well, biosyn's dinosaurs are in play. We could not be in a better position. But it leads me to think... Think about what? Don't we owe it to the world to bring more to the table? Every new species presents biosyn with new possibilities. Medicine, materials, mathematics. We are just scratching the surface. But I am an impatient man. I want to show the world our full potential, and I want to do so now. That is the only way we destroy InGen. I want them to be a distant memory. Right now, I want more species, as fast as you can make them. Don't pepper me with excuses on why not. I need ways to make this a reality. With all due respect, there is a risk to everything we do. The more species we bring back, the more complex of a biosphere we have to manage. We can only push so far. Hmm. When you think you have pushed as far as you can go, push harder. This genie is not going back in the bottle. Okay, so... Closures here, we could probably divide those up. So we need Giga and Thera. Two people try calling me. Okay. <laughs> and it's the same number too. So let's get that researched and then finish this. And then that's when I'm going to call this video and stuff. But I'm not going to do that now. I want to get their Xenosaurus made. I should have turned this into a. I should have done a stream, but I didn't. Finally. Okay, there's Xenosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Xenoceratops, and Tyrannosaurus Rex again. Okay, let's get that. Let's get this going, and I'll st I'll bring you guys back when this is when that's done. Okay, we're back. So we are going to do this. 
do that. And now we gotta wait again. So I'm just gonna come back until like everything is until the Therizinosaurus is made. We are back. I just finished it just finished incubating. So now we're just gonna put it right in here and fix this as well. Okay. That's it. I think we've done all we can. We've optimized the compound as much as possible. It can support everything you wanted. The choice is all yours. Well, ours. The choice is ours. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna second that. Really? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you two. It would be foolish of me not to include you in what happens next. We don't want any missteps. You know, I'd like to see what this facility is really capable of. Me too. I think it can handle more dinosaurs. Well, I know we can. Uh, I'm proud of you both. This is Biosyn at its best. Any dinosaurs we still need in the facility? Let me check the research. We gotta make sure we get them all. This is too great an opportunity to miss. Once in a lifetime, right? I mean, for the dinos and for us. With all that's happening, we still want to keep an eye on our dinosaur visibility and comfort ratings. Agreed. Let's keep them on target. Okay, since I've already have the T-Rex here, I more gene modifications. Okay, well, I am going to end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will, I am planning on more recordings and stuff. Like, I, I'm going to be doing one with friends and stuff, talking about Jurassic World Dominion and how we liked it and stuff. And then I'm going to be doing more content on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Maybe I'll do both at the same time. Like, I'll be doing the Chaos Theory, they were talking to a friend, or I'm doing a part two of this, or something, I don't know. But I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.